right now. What we care about is celebrating this movie that has been selected in the Oscars in a timely moment in Cameroon after the coronavirus where people were not able to shoot, they had to shut down where the Cameroon industry for the first light is receiving the kind of spotlight that it is receiving and you're yet trying to tell me bullshit. I found that there's a girl here by the name of Eka who's been attending classes without her father's permission. I can I am still talking. No child will step his or her feet on this premises without a parent's consent. This is your boy Lunga Lunga the second. Welcome to our channel Kame Expose. As you know, Kame Expose is all about tourism, culture, events. But from our previous videos, we've been focusing so much on tourism. So today we are going to switch it up. Today we are going to be talking about a movie. That is a Cameroonian movie with title The Fisherman's Diaries. It is a 2020 movie directed by Enna John Scott and produced by Can Quintus. It's a story of a 12-year-old girl by name Eka who got inspired by Malala Yousafzai, the youngest Nobel Prize winner. She's determined to go to school in a village of fishermen where it is considered a taboo. Her drives to break the adage gets her in broad with her father Solomon. The film features other actors such as Ram Sinua, Onyama Laura, Neba Godwill, Mayochu, etc. etc. The film was submitted by Cameroon for the Oscar Academy Awards 2020, that is the 93rd award under the international feature films so we are still waiting for the results the results shall be published on the oscars website on tuesday february the 9th so hopefully we we wish this film is short is shortlisted 93 countries submitted their films and out of these 93 only 15 shall be accepted as nominations this is 40 years after the first Cameroonian film was submitted to the Oscars for review. That was in 1980, the 53rd Academy Awards. The title of the film was No Trophy, which was, which finally was not accepted for nominations. Although on the Wikipedia website, we are seeing another movie here in 2016 at the 89th Oscars with title Yahin Amina Bitski Hai. The language of the movie here is Hindi. I don't know how come an Indian movie should be submitted by Cameroon. Maybe some of you have an idea what happened or I don't know. Just drop down your comments. And please, if you have not subscribed, do so. Kindly subscribe to our channel. Okay, let's move ahead. The movie was premiered in Cameroon on October 24th. I was in Douala at the Canal Olympia, Besenge. And the theme, the theme for the movie premiere was the classic 80s. As you can see from these pictures here, everybody had to be dressed old school as you may say it was a very colorful event just check out these pictures mostly celebrities from Cam in Cameroon like you have uh, musicians comedians other actors and actresses The movie have been, have been winning awards from all over the world in New York, Europe, just of recent in Ghana, that was in December. The movie collected eight awards at the Golden Movie Awards. As you can see, we have Best Actor, Best Actress, Best Film, Best Cinemat Cinematographer, D 
discovery of the year best sound editor best ingenious film as a matter of fact this movie is going places and we wish wish him good luck we wish he continues winning more awards for Cameroon the Oscars is very funny and it does not depend on how long you have been in the in the industry and the Oscars is also like the movie actors and actresses World Cup there are actors and actresses who are going to be in the movie industry for many years and they will never win the, the Oscar but the Oscar is like a dream come true for every actor it's the end game for every, every actor so you may just come into the movie industry and for your, your very first movie you win an Oscar you can be in the movie industry for years and finally retire without ever winning any Oscar so it all depends on your hard work and creativity the, the Cameroonian movie, movie industry has been very dominant for a while in Cameroon we consume mostly Nigerian movies and just like he quoted and I read I have opened all doors I need for start broke now windows them now I'll lie you a laughing emoji Kang Quintus is very versatile and he is also into music as he has created the Kang Quintus music and his first artist to sign is Remy you can check him up on faith on YouTube so we have to go to the studio we're going to the studio with Remy we're cooking a lot of good stuff coming up for you guys man it's going to be an epic 2021 for him watch out watch out Remy follow Remy on Facebook Instagram everywhere at Remy official Remy is R-E-M-I-I R-E-M-I-I -I, official Instagram Facebook, when his movie whatever. was accepted in the Oscars he went on Facebook live and I caught up with him I had to ask him how he went into movies because he's somebody I personally know back in the days of the university in Boya Cameroon where I knew he was studying he was into business studies all of a sudden I only see him in an award-winning movie so this was what he had to say just listen um, Lunga Lunga the second says back in the days of UB you used to do tutorials in business, mathematics, and statistics. You were a pro. Back in the days, 2000, yeah? What a switch. Back then, you were interested in acting and stuff. Please tell me more. Yeah. Lunga, lunga, yeah. It's, it's, it's good to reconnect with you, man. Yeah. I used to be a tutorial class professor. They used to call me Prof Kang in UB back in the day. That's actually how I sponsored myself abroad. You know, because I was teaching tutorial, tutorial classes, 200 francs and a lot of students were paying. I was very good with mathematics, business math, statistics, and marketing, economics, and all those good stuff. And um, yeah, like I said, uh, Lunga, I don't think we were online when I said this. I'm an accidental actor. I, I never saw myself becoming an actor. Uh, I was this book guy, like you just said, teaching tutorial classes. I wanted to have a PhD in accounting. That was my dream, to become a doctor in accounting, which I finally realized that you know years later but see myself getting into acting I, I never I never saw that but here here I am today my uh, PhD degree is almost <laughs> useless well it's not useless but I use it for other things but it's almost Can Quintus has featured in seven movies at the moment dating back since 2014 the first one is AK the second retaliation in 2015 Rejected still in 2015, Bedfellas in 2017, Four Minutes 2017, a TV series in 2019, and The Fisherman's Diaries in 2020. It should be noted here that he directed and produced AK, Retaliation, and Rejected. When he met 
Cameroon's Minister of Culture, January this year, he said he was very proud and declared himself the indomitable lions of culture in Cameroon. Your passion, your patriotism, your, your, your artistic mindset to make sure Cameroon culture is promoted nationally and internationally. But all of this is happening. I want to tell you that I am very proud. I want to say in French, je suis le lion and the daughter of the king. Yes. I want to say and thank you so much for your excellency. I want to tell you we are working on our... This is a video of Kang and his team when they visited the town where the film was, was shot. That is Limbe, situated in the English-speaking part of Cameroon. As you can see, it was all vibes. Most of my subscribers here do not know that we speak both English and French in Cameroon. I think my Nigerian subscribers can testify this. Cameroon is a bilingual country with French and English as official languages, just like Canada. I have watched so many Nollywood movies with scenes like this is how we greet people, people in Cameroon. Bonjour madame, bonsoir monsieur. French and English are official languages of Cameroon, a heritage of Cameroon's colonial past as a colony of both France and the United Kingdom. That is from 1916 to 1960. From this picture, blue is the French speaking part of Cameroon, while red is the English speaking part of Cameroon. Limbe is a beach town in English Cameroon and in Limbe you have touristic attractions like the Botanic Garden and the Limbe Wildlife Center. Listen to what he had to say about the 80% Cameroonian music and 20% foreign music Wahala that has been trending on the social media of, of recent. You know Cameroon has a lot of talent man and uh, you guys need to support us more. You know, let's consume more of Cameroon. I'm, I'm actually going to comment on the band thing tomorrow. I'll, I'll write something and comment my take on that. And uh, But for now, I can say that the word ban is a little bit too harsh to use, you know, because at the end of the day, if they ban Cameroon artists, Cameroonian artists from performing in other countries, if they ban their songs from playing on Trace Africa, if they ban our movies from playing on Netflix, Amazon, Africa Magic, what's going to happen to the industry? So it's all about we be more patriotic. It's all about Cameroonians be more supportive of their own. If we consume 80% Cameroon, if our DJs, our TV stations, all our networks, you know, um, radio stations, they play Cameroon music only 80% at least, not just Cameroon, they can play 80%. If our snacks are playing 80% Cameroonian music, if we can consume more of Cameroonian products, um, it's going to make the industry better. But we cannot say we should ban. Banning is, is a very big word. Because if they ban us in other countries as well, you know, entertainment is an ecosystem. Every country has to coexist with one another. We have to collaborate with one another. And the difference between us and Nigerians is Nigerians consume more of their own. They are they, are, they, they export their culture. They consume it with arrogance and with, with love, with everything they have. And that's what we are lacking. So I don't really think that um, uh, this is uh, a banning issue. It's, it's more of a cultural and mindset thing. So we can change our mindsets and, and recalibrate and consume more Cameroonian products, you know, consume Cameroonian films, con consume more of our, of our music. You know, you go to our parties, you play more Nigerian songs, you will never see that in Nigeria. So that is not a Nigerian problem, it's our problem. You understand? So it's a, it's, it's a mental problem, it's a patriotic problem, it's something that we need to recalibrate, support Cameroonian stuff. Our DJs should play more of Cameroonian music, at least 80% of Cameroonian music. Our TV channels 
to play Cameroonian movies, play Cameroonian music, more of Cameroonian, you know, I see a lot of series on our channels, white series, and, and I get offended sometimes. I'm like, we have a lot of them in Cameroon, why can't you play our own? You know, I see foreign music being played, I get offended. Like, if I go to the club and they are playing Nigerian music, it's not that I don't love Nigerian music, but I, I, I feel some kind of way because I feel like, okay, I'm in my country, we should be promoting our own more. But banning a Nigerian artist from coming to Nigeria to perform here is way over overboard, man. I do not agree with that. Because if, if he has fans here, he, he has a right to come and perform. And why is he having a lot of fans here? Because he's doing well and because we have chosen to consume them more than we consume our, our own. But but I'll, I'll elaborate more on this tomorrow. I have the publication I'll put out tomorrow with my own take. This For is, all and, the and, people who are sitting there and would think that this moment of celebration is a time for you to come online and be telling us that you know how to use google to do your research what have you been waiting for all these years that is today that we want to celebrate your fisherman's diary selection on netflix that you want to come and tell us what you know about films that have been selected we don't carry your negative spirit and go far away see we will celebrate <laughs> this moment. bring that your talk after we don't want to hear anything right now we don't care carry it no, and go away will. Positive, positive Cameroon energy and, only. You know, you, we are you know, the descendants energy. of change. Cameroonians are the descendants of change. We are our brother's killers. Why can't we just appreciate the moment and celebrate it and take it in without bringing silly, like silly things to start criticizing what is wrong with us? What is wrong no, with no. us? Since I always say this, right? If people are not criticizing, then you are, you are not doing the right thing. But we don't even, um, it's, it's not even about that. We need to stop this bull crap if we need to move forward. This is I what agree. is holding us back as a community because we want to show in the wrong moments that we know it all. We know this. We know that we don't care about that right now. What we care about is celebrating this movie that has been selected in the Oscars in a timely moment in Cameroon after the coronavirus where people were not able to shoot. They had to shut down where the Cameroon industry for the first light is receiving the kind of spotlight that it is receiving. And you're yet trying to tell me bullshit about what about what we don't care about those things go away I agree. leave the, I agree. leave the ship jump inside the water and be swimming and going away <laughs> we're going somewhere we're headed to a specific destination we don't need distract distraction shift back. we don't need it i agree i agree we don't need it I beg, so I beg, I, I, we are celebrating I, I know you. the man's diary we are celebrating the entire team i've been screaming out my long since morning and anybody who is here to spoil this mood, we will come to you. So <laughs> leave this place. Let's celebrate. And let's enjoy the moment. Because Absolutely. it's the winning moment. Man, we in no one win now. Go back to one corner. Because we're taking over. We yes, are moving. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. boy! Yes! 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 yes. <laughs> <laughs> we die here! With that, yeah. Well, sis, thank you once bye, again. Bro, thank bye. you so much. Thank you so much for always supporting. You are one of those people that support everybody in the industry. You are always a very selfless human being and never stop being who you are because we love you the way you are. And do not change being unfiltered the way you are because that's what yeah. makes you stand out. You are a darling and I love you and you know that. I love you more. Hey, young, I see you, I see you, I see you, bro. I see you, my other <laughs> ego. <laughs> bye. <laughs> All right, sis, bye. All right, all right. So that was Stephanie Tom. Uh, she is the producer of Saving Mango, an amazing film, fantastic film. One of my favorite African films ever done. Um, I said that the day after I watched the movie at Canal Olympia, and, and I meant every word that I said, and it's still one of my favorite African films ever done. Uh, she's an iron lady, a fantastic mom, a go-getter, and... Um, She's one of the pillars of this industry and, and those are people that we should celebrate. Okay, I know some of you may not understand why this lady is saying all of this with a lot of energy. Let me break it down for you guys. When he said he had opened doors for Cameroon, many Cameroonians came online saying that no, he didn't open any door because The Fisherman's Diary is not the first movie to be submitted for the Oscars. That the first movie was submitted 40 years ago. Now, this, are, this is my take on, on all of this and I will explain to you why for me he has actually opened doors 
for the Cameroon movie industry. I will give you just four points. Number one, there is currently no Cameroonian movie on Netflix. So if this one is going to Netflix, it's an open door. Number two, if this is not the first Cameroonian movie to be accepted for the Oscars for review, at least it is the first movie from the English speaking part of Cameroon. I get so pissed off when I see many countries identifying Cameroon as a French speaking country only. At least we speak, we speak English too in Cameroon and we have a very long history from the English speaking part of Cameroon. Number three, he said it out of good faith for the industry. The movie has gained serious international recognition. I mean, for example, in Ghana, eight awards in one night. Where does that happen? And finally, this is 40 years after the first ever Cameroonian movie was submitted in the Oscars for reviews. Not four years or 40 days. I mean, was there really any competition at that time from Africa? Nowadays, we have African giants like Nigeria, Ghana, and South Africa. So, you actually opened the doors, Mr. Khan Quintus. Now, my take on why this movie should actually be shortlisted on the 9th of February and grab the award on the 25th of April. This movie is in support of the World Bank Millennium Development Goals, not just any goal. A goal ranked at number two after poverty, after hunger, which is education. Achieving universal primary education by 2015. I don't think it, this goal has been achieved. Studies show that an extra year of secondary schooling for girls can increase their future wages by 10 to 20 percent and more. Studies also show that educated girls are likely to go to hospitals for pre-maternal care when they are pregnant. So this movie, I think you should grab that award. I used to live in Belgium and um, I was dating this girl whose elder sister was a film director. She was from Cameroon. She's from Cameroon, basically. And uh, she was filming a movie and they needed a location to shoot. So she called the little sister who I was dating at the time and the little sister asked me and asked the little sister if they could use my house to shoot. So I was like, yeah, why not? So they came to my house. I didn't go to work that day. And uh, the first scene that they were shooting, the lead actor was not doing very well. So I kept on talking behind the camera. I was like, do it like this, do it like that, do it like this, do it like that. So the director was like, okay, you keep talking. Go in front and show him what you're talking about. How you want him to do it. So I went in front of the camera. I did it. And the whole place, everybody started clapping. And even the lead actor started clapping. And he was like, can you just play it? This is my first scene. I've not acted before. Just go ahead and play the role. And that's how I got into acting. I played that role. And um, uh, it, was, it was a very interesting experience. Because I, I had no... I've never had dreams of becoming an actor. I've never seen myself as an actor growing up. You know, I'm, I was, I used to be this very shy guy. A lot of people don't know I'm a very shy person. <laughs> I used to be very shy back in the day. I became bold and a little bit outspoken when I got into film. I was, I was very shy. I was a very book person. I was one of those people that believed in education. And that's why I got to the level of having a PhD in accounting. Because for me, it was about school, school, and school, and school, and school. So I'm, I like to call myself an accidental actor. You know, I'm an accidental actor. I got into acting by mistake. But 11 years later, here, here, here I am, having a film accepted into the Oscars. It's, it's, it's surreal. It's unbelievable, man. It's unbelievable. It's just to tell you that whatever you're doing in this world, do it right. You'll fall many times. Rise up, dust off, and keep going. Because in life, you should never give up. Never, ever give up. Never give up. Never. Growing up, I used to watch Ramsey Noah, for example, on the big screen. And he's my favorite African actor, personally. I love him. I love his acting. He's very real. He's very deep. He's very um, methodic in his acting. 
And uh, when I got nominated alongside Ramsey Noir at the Golden Movie Awards for Best Actor, I called him. I said, bro, this is, I can't believe this. You are in The Fisherman's Diary, and then I'm competing against you in another film. That's strange. So we laughed on the phone. He was like, well, I've seen that film. You did an excellent job, but let the best person win. And um, I was not going there expecting to win. For me, getting a nomination already was the, the greatest achievement of my acting career that I'm competing with Ramsey Noir. Ramsey Noir, you know, somebody I grew up watching on the big screen. So when I went there and we won Best Actor, won um, Best Actress, Faith Fidel. Look, look at the person calling me Faith Fidel. <laughs> Yo, Faith, let me call you back, baby. Let me call you back. I'm, I'm, I'm on a live video, okay? I'll call you back. All right, I'll call you back. Yeah, so... Faith Fidel won Best Actress, we won, I won Best Actor, and it was surreal. You know, Best Film, Best Sound Editor, Best Screenplay. Eight awards in one night. It was, it's still unbelievable. I still feel like it's a dream because we basically shut down Ghana that night. And it was a statement that the camera movie industry is, is there. If this is your first time on this channel and you find this video informative, Please do not hesitate to subscribe. Thank you for watching right up to this point. Ciao. Bye bye. Stay tuned and stay glued to Kamei Expose.